Hey everybody, welcome back to another Mysidia Gaming video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game that is coming out soon, and that game is Tales of Crystoria, uh, which is the newest in the Tales franchise from Bandai Namco, uh, marking another attempt to get into the mobile gacha genre. Uh, we are currently expecting a June release for Tales of Crystoria, and this release is going to be truly global. There is no current Japanese server. It's going to come out everywhere, hopefully at the exact same time, and we haven't heard uh, anything about this being delayed by COVID-19 yet. So let's take a look at all the news and information we have on this game and whether or not we should be pumped for it. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the different aspects of the game and kind of just go through all the information that we currently have. So we're going to start off with story. Tales of Crystoria is going to have a full-fledged story uh, with brand new characters as you would expect from any Tales game, uh, but don't worry, all your other favorite Tales characters are going to be along for the ride, some directly in the story, uh, but also others featured as gacha uh, in the, the pulling system. So the story in this game follows Kanata and Masella, who are two villagers that are forced to flee their home after being deemed transgressors. So you see in this world that they live in, everybody has to wear these vision orbs and it allows the general populace to judge people if they commit a crime. Uh, and then once someone's uh, a deemed a transgressor, uh, enforcers are are sent out to punish the criminals. Uh, so Kanata and Masella have to escape the village and they meet Vicious, who is a fellow criminal and is known as the Great Transgressor. So he seems like a pretty wild guy. Uh, so Tales of Crystoria is going to tell these three character stories, uh, as well as three other original story uh, characters that are going to be part of the main party. But of course, you're going to have uh, all sorts of characters uh, playable in the game to join them. So the story mode in this game looks fairly standard. Uh, you traverse a cool looking world map and uh, while you're completing stages, each of these stages will have a bunch of levels on them and each level costs energy to engage in. Uh, each level features a bunch of waves of enemies that you have to defeat and uh, you can earn stars by completing different ob objectives on those levels. So pretty much what we're, we've come to expect from mobile gaming in general. Uh, but the cool thing about the story in this game is that it's going to feature Japanese voice acting. Uh, it seems to have a lot of the skit-like conversations that will be very familiar to you if you've played Tales games in the past. Uh, and we can even see some screenshots uh, on the main website that have Tales characters from other universes such as Cress, Marta, Emil. Uh, and we know that characters from other Tales games are actually going to be appearing in the main story as, as part of the main story. Uh, although it's also been said that they're going to feature in the main story and then if you want to go deeper into why they're in that world and what's going on with them then there's going to be side missions that feature those characters as well moving on to something that i think a lot of people will be excited to hear about the combat system in tales of Crystoria is going to be turn based so you can have up to four units at once in battle uh, and the battles proceed by using a bunch of regular attacks and you have multiple different attacks that you can see at the bottom right of this screen you're also going have access to arts which will be on cooldown so if you use something like demon fang it's gonna have a two turn cooldown uh, and then as you fight enemies you get to like, control your whole team and then the enemies are gonna go and then you get to go uh, and as you battle you're going to try to hit certain objectives to make your um, your whatever it's called your limit over limit bar fill up. So things like critical hits or hitting en enemies weaknesses uh, are going to be able to fill that up and when that fills up you can use a mystic art uh, to do a lot of damage to the enemy. You can also use combos in this game so if you string together multiple attacks and then put an art on the end of that and then put a mystic art on that, uh, on that as well you can make big combos to do more damage. This game also features your typical elemental strength and weakness system so certain characters elements will be good against certain enemies and weak against others so you can use that to your advantage and that will also help you fill up your over limit bar. In terms of gacha in Tales of Crystoria, you're going to be able to acquire units through gacha uh, and also through the story uh, but you will mainly be 
trying to pull units to build out your different uh, formations. So care trees are going to arrive in something called a memoria stone, uh, but you can also pull memoria stones that are not playable characters, and these are going to be more like equipment pieces. So you can equip a memoria stone, which would be a certain character from a Tales game, to uh, to a unit to boost its stats, uh, and that's so there's at least two types of gacha involved. There's going to be your unit gacha and then your kind of like your upgrade system gacha as well. So uh, true to Tales fashion, you're also going to be able to fully customize your characters with costumes and attachments. Uh, and you can have um, a, a bunch of different attachments on. I'm not sure how you're going to get these attachments yet, but it's pretty cool. If you need to see uh, Kanata wearing a strange frog hat, then guess what? You got it. It's in the game. So that's going to be it for this little preview of uh, Tales of Crystoria. There is a lot of information out there on Twitter, on the official website, uh, and on YouTube. There's there's videos that are, these are all official sources of information. So I'll link those in the description below. But let me know what you thought about this video because it's my first time doing a preview of a game, and I'm curious to know if you enjoyed it uh, and what you'd like to see in terms of this type of content going forward. If there's other things I didn't cover, uh, or if you want me to go in, in more depth, trying to find more information. Uh, but otherwise, let me know in the comments below if you're excited for Tales of Crystoria. Uh, I certainly am. I think I think it looks really cool. I wanna see more of the combat and more of the, the different units and customization options that are available, but I will at least be getting this game uh, right away to play out the, the whole story, because I'm, I'm definitely a sucker for stories. If you watch my channel, you know that. All right, so that's gonna be it for me and thank you so much for for coming by uh, we'll see you next time thank you so much for watching this video you can show your support with a like and subscribe and by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash gaming until next time keep it real Mesidians.